Hi, my name is Paul Barton, and we're continuing this series on uh, tree hollows, and uh, today we're going to be dealing with a number of subjects. The first question is, where does tree hollows come from? Tree hollows is basically uh, found in nature in succulent plants, uh, a little bit in brewer's yeast, and also in mushrooms. Now these amounts are really quite small, so they're uh, they're not harvestable, uh, certainly on a commercial uh, quantity. So that makes it rather difficult to use those um, sources uh, to provide uh, tree hollows in any appreciable quantity. Um, so there has to be another way of producing tree hollows. And that breakthrough came a number of years ago, and that's what I want to talk about next. A company in Japan, a very bright uh, scientist, uh, recognized that there was a potential to take uh, a simple starch and combine it with an enzyme that would actually join two glucose molecules in uh, a very strong structure. Now, uh, glucose is a ring form carbohydrate and it exists on its own quite happily. This enzymatic process that this brilliant scientist uh, uh, tried and, and succeeded actually joined two glucose molecules together with very, very strong bonds. In fact, the bonds are so strong that uh, under normal circumstances it's almost impossible for the body to break them apart. Uh, there is one exception to that and that is part of what I want to talk about next but these glucose molecules joined by two very strong bonds uh, through an enzymatic process it's the key as to why uh, tree hollows is so helpful certainly in terms of human health. When you eat tree hollows, it tastes sweet in the mouth, uh, but it, it, it stays as a combined uh, compound, these two glucose molecules stuck together. It goes through the mouth, uh, so the enzyme tyolin uh, doesn't actually uh, digest it, goes through the stomach without being touched, and it's only when it gets to the small intestine that actually uh, it begins to be digested by the presence of an enzyme called trehalase. Now trehalase only exists in uh, a very f um, short period, short length uh, of the uh, small intestine. And by the time your food gets to that point, uh, the trehalase has been spread out throughout uh, the small intestine. So therefore you tend to get much slower digestion, much slower absorption of the resulting uh, glucose. That's why this product, this compound trehalos, has such a limited effect on blood glucose levels. So the benefits of trehalos uh, actually become very simple when you understand that concept. Uh, it's probably one of the best forms of uh, sweetening food but without triggering a rise in uh, blood sugar levels. So trehalose for adults provides just about best option for uh, blood glucose level management. It's profound and once you see how effective it is uh, most people never go back to using sugar or anything else uh, including xylitol. Uh, it's great for cooking, you can use it uh, literally interchangeably with sucrose. Um, you may have to use a little bit more tree hollows uh, than you would do sucrose, but it's work. it works. It's interchangeable. There's also a little bit of evidence that uh, people with nervous system disorders, things like multiple sclerosis, motor neurone disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and a few more as well, but all neurological uh, uh, conditions seem to have 
uh, some benefits from using tree halos over sucrose. The mechanisms for that aren't quite sure, we're not quite sure what they are. Uh, the research is ongoing, uh, but we know that it's safe and that the benefits are uh, clear. The mechanism at the moment is unclear. Um, and there's no research that categorically states use tree halos to manage any condition. It's just food. So please think of it like that. But changing your diet for the better, eating uh, unprocessed foods closest to the way that nature made them, uh, is profoundly effective at improving uh, your general state of health uh, and your general state of well-being.